Good morning, welcome to Crumbs 13. Uh, this morning, I wasn't really planning on doing this, but I looked out and saw these amazing clouds and it's the fog that um, has come down. And um, those who know me know how much I have been moved by the presence of the Father in the clouds. And so I've often spoke to them my kids, um, my friends, um, my, and um, other people in my life that I have shared um, this incredible testimony of the Lord in the clouds. And um, because it changed my perspective, it changed my thoughts, it changed um, how I even felt when the fog came or the heaviness of the clouds came. It, it, it just totally uh, lifted me up because in this world, in this world, oftentimes uh, people feel heavy laden with the clouds or they feel worn out. You hear all these, they're just kind of conditioned to think a certain way um, when there are clouds or when it's a cloudy day. And um, so I wanted today to share. Um, what excites me because of what the Lord revealed in scripture to me. And, and I pray that you will actually take and, and go and look at uh, the clouds in, in scripture and see what the Father wants to show you. Um, do a word search, uh, you'll be surprised. So the clouds were always, um, in the very beginning, like the Lord revealed uh, uh, his power, his presence, in the cloud of his presence, um, on the mountain with Moses. Um, he revealed the power of his uh, presence when um, they had a traveling tent and, um, and, and that was their temple. And so when they would go in to the Holy of Holies, the, pro the cloud of his presence, like the fog would come and rest on um, that tent. It would just fully embrace and people knew that the Lord was there, his spirit dwelled there and he was meeting um, them within. And, um, and so when the cloud of his presence, uh, it was a cloud that led them um, out of Egypt during the day and then fire that led them at night. And you know, there's that's in and of itself just a complete miracle that they followed a cloud during the day to their freedom out of slavery and then at night followed a, a, a fire um, that led them like the Holy Spirit and the power of the Father is so remarkable and his presence is so amazing and so today this amazing fog and and what's incredible, you can probably hear the road behind me, but you can't see the cars and you can see um, Bronx, but you can't see the cars. You, you can't see, you can't make clear. And um, so when the, when the clouds come and they embrace you, when the Father comes and he embraces you, it's not so much what is way ahead of you that you need to focus on. You just need to focus on him and his embrace. You just need to focus on what step he has right in front of you and, um, and know that he's embracing you. He's encamped around you uh, in Psalm 37. No, in Psalm 34, 7, it's, it talks about the angels of the Lord encamp around you, um, those who fear the Lord. And... Um, he he wants you to experience his presence he wants you to know his truth he wants you to um, move in his goodness and um, have peace also like his abundant peace um, so today and the next time you experience the clouds, the next time you experience heavy fog, the next time it's a rainy day, remember that those clouds are what the goodness of the Lord came, um, ascended and descended in. Um, it's, it's the goodness of the Lord and his presence that he, he came and um, always met them in the clouds. Um, and 
So don't let a worldly perception, don't let a worldly perspective rob you of a godly truth um, as far as the clouds are concerned. And, and let, let him meet you in the clouds. Let Go dive into scripture and let scripture mark you in the truth of the clouds of his presence. Um, he spoke also that there's the great cloud of witnesses. I, I believe that's in Hebrews 12. Um, you know, those who have gone before us um, in the cloud of witnesses interceding for us. I mean, Jesus is the, the great interceder, the great mediator for us. And, and, and that's why you need him, because you won't be able to stand before God Almighty without him. Um, but there's this cloud of witnesses that... Um, go before us and um, maybe you have some loved ones that have gone before you and you know maybe you can see these clouds as uh, a presence of them looking in um, a presence of their presence um, but more importantly it's really for you to see the father in his presence um, his touch his um, heavenly coming to this earthly. And um, I really just wanted to mark you with that. I pray that um, you see the clouds differently. I pray you start looking up scripture and, and experiencing um, these things that with a worldly eye, we miss this kingdom fulfillment and purpose and, and greater um, truth within it. Um, so today, this beautiful fog, I just let it embrace. I, I would, I'm just going to go take a walk in it and, and just let it embrace me as the cloud of his presence embraces, um, embraces me and, um, holds, holds me close. And, um, I just pray that you allow the cloud of his presence to hold you close. Um, take the step before the one just directly in front of you. Don't get too concerned about what you see way out ahead, even if you can hear it. Don't get too too concerned about that um, because the Father wants you to be present in the moment in which you're in and has intentions for you in that moment. So um, I pray this blesses you. I pray that you look differently. I pray that um, then you just experience his presence wherever you are and seeing his truth in great cre in the, this great creation. And um, let him embrace you today and every day after. Um, with that, um, we can't wait to meet you at his table. God bless your day and, um, and wrap you up. Have a great one.